Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Fit After 30. So guys, today is 31st of 2023. So we are just a few hours before we step into 2024, guys. And uh, look, I'm here writing my resolutions, my health resolutions for 2024. Yeah, so some of these I didn't, I purpose to achieve them this year, but I didn't. But anyway, there is always next time. And that next time is 2024, guys. I want to share with you so that you can see if it is something that you can also do. Uh, and then you can, you know, comment down below and let me know what your resolutions are when it comes to your health, guys. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please, guys, remember to subscribe, okay? It doesn't cost you anything, but it means so much to me because I'm trying to grow my channel. So now, guys, one, the first resolution that you can do or the challenge. Let us call them challenges, by the way. So the first challenge that you can do as from tomorrow, first January of 2024, guys, is no refined sugar challenge. Guys, you don't need sugar. You, know, you don't need refined sugar. You need sugar, of course, but you can get sugar from fruits, from vegetables. So now this is something that I have been able, at least that one I can say, that a hundred percent okay sometimes i test soda and uh and juice so let me say 90 percent i have been able to manage to do so that is a uh, resolution number one no refined sugar challenge you can start maybe say this week you not take uh if you are someone who is so used to sugar if you are someone who puts like three three teaspoons you can reduce and then let it be two, two, two teaspoons, start with two teaspoons and then reduce to one and then now reduce to completely no sugar. So that is how you can go about this. So the uh, purpose to be at completely no sugar in your tea or anything by the end of this year, by the end of next year, 2024. Number two is uh, no processed foods, no or less. So guys, I'm not telling you to just wake up and uh, stop doing these things. Of course, you have to teach your body not to demand them. So now processed foods, you can, um, you know, those foods that you buy from the supermarket, the ones that are packed with a lot of salt, a lot of sugar and a lot of oil, you can avoid them. You can try and avoid them. Like you maybe eat them as a treat or uh, as a cheat during your cheat days or something like that. So no processed foods or less processed foods. And then uh, number three is no soda, no juice. Guys, this one, I can also say that 90% I am there. I don't take soda completely. Like my system just refuse it. By the way, guys, we, we all have test buds. But now if you teach your test buds to like certain things that you think are so yuck, for example, smoothies or uh, smoothies or the homemade juices without sugar. Can you imagine you'll enjoy them? You'll actually enjoy them, guys. If you teach your your your, your test buds to to eat salads, you'll actually enjoy them. But now instead of just you know saying that they taste like 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 bad decisions or that you are not a goat or something, so guys. You can teach your test buds to like anything. So no soda, no juice is another challenge that you can put in your resolution so that you can do it as from tomorrow, 1st of January, 2024. And then we have uh, eat more homemade foods. Guys, this is another challenge and it's a very good one. It should not only give you good health, it will also save your pockets, guys. So now when you are cooking your food at home, you're making sure that you're putting in the ingredients that you want. You're using the right oil, the oil that you want to use. You're making sure that you don't add anything that will be bad on your stomach or one that you don't want. And then um, also when you're cooking home, you are making sure you're eating the right portions. You're making sure that you're cooking the food the right way. So no, it has so many advantages. So purpose to cook your food at home and uh, just eat out occasionally. Number five, drink more water. Can you imagine it doesn't come naturally, guys? Like you might think that drinking water, you just drink water. But 
actually some of us actually forget to drink water no i'm not just saying drinking water when you feel thirsty or just drinking water when you have eaten you should purpose to drink what at least three liters of water a day guys if you are a grown-up i think even for children i i, I don't think there is a, anyone who has died of drinking three, li three liters of water a day also there are apps that can help you to drink the right amount of what of water according to your weight or bmi so you can look for those apps so that they can also help you even remind you on what times to take your water so drink more water guys if you want a glowing skin like mine drink a lot of water guys if you want uh, uh, your bowel movement to be right drink a lot of water guys if you want your system your blood to pump well drink water like water is life it is said and it is true guys it is a fact so drink a lot of water number six mind your own business guys it is actually very important to mind your own business my daughter is laughing but it is true guys once you start minding your own business you'll even see your your skin will be clear guys you'll be happier you will be content you will be at peace with yourself if you just stop minding other people's business what other people think about you what they are saying what they are not saying so guys mind your business okay but number seven and this is very important guys work out move your body guys please we were meant to just to move we were not meant to sit at a desk the whole day i know that you have to seek to sit at a, as a, at a desk when you're working but now find time to move go for a walk go to the gym and if you are you have time purpose to go to the gym at least three to five days a week guys also remember house chores is not exercise guys it is not it is not yes it can help you sweat here and there but now go the purpose to do an aerobic exercise strength training and combine the two so that you can get better results we want to look good and also feel good this year and even the years to come even when you are 80 years you want to be able to move your body yeah so now start now investing in your body and you'll reap the benefits when in your older years so work out and then number eight no alcohol challenge yeah so guys no alcohol challenge will not only be good for your body guys it will also be good for your pocket your pocket will thank you for it guys so guys if you do drink like three times a, a week i know people who drink daily so if you drink daily or three times a week you can reduce to one day a week you can also say that the whole month of january or february or the whole year you are not going to drink and by the way you will not even die guys so that's a challenge that i am posing to you to people who drink you can do that challenge and see the benefits it will give you uh you'll be more healthier you'll be your brain will be active you will think better you will you will not have a problem doing your work you will be early you will you will sleep uh, well you will wake up early and do your duties as expected you will not run into problems with your with your manager number 9 get closer to god again so now if you if you stop if you mind your own business and then get closer to god i can assure you guys you will be at peace with yourself you will be at peace with people so now getting closer to God also helps you spiritually. It also helps you mentally. By the way, guys, once you know God, okay, for those who are Christians or for those who love, who know God, uh, yeah, so I'm not forcing anything on you, but now whichever it is that you believe in, I believe that everyone believes in a higher power. So just believe in it and then dedicate your life around that area and you will have a peaceful and happy life number 10 and the last one reduce your circle guys too many people in your life doesn't mean quality it also it only means quantity so for people who have gone through uh mental health illnesses like depression like myself i know very well that you can be in a crowd or in a room full of people yet you feel alone it is very important that you create a small circle of friends or family whom you can count on. You know, 
people that will not judge you, people that have same interests as you, people that will encourage you to work out, to work harder, to, you know, they will give you opportunities, they will uh, mention your name somewhere where where you will be able to find a job, where you'll be able to find a business opportunity. People that just build you, not even financially alone, but even physically and emotionally. So reduce your circle, guys. By the way, this also means even unfollowing those accounts that don't add any value to you. There are people that we follow that only aggravate our stresses, guys, because now we see them and we think that they are doing so well that we are all we are the only ones that are doing worse in this life. Yet, some of these lives that you are being shown on social media are fake. So guys, if you have to unfollow those accounts for your own peace of mind, I know that I have several that I'm going to unfollow. You know, those people that sometimes you just read what they post and you want to... Uh, <sighs> so now, because I don't want to... Uh, I'm just going to simply block and move. So guys... Those are the New Year challenges that you can purpose to partake. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it has been of great value to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. I want this video to reach as many people as possible because we want to start the year on a good note, guys. So please do me a favor. Click the like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do so by clicking the red button. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Have a fruitful 20, 2024. And uh, we will meet in that year where we will continue talking about fitness and healthy living. Thank you so much and bye.